hello everyone welcome back to the channel in today's video we are going to learn how we can create custom office add-in and how we can deploy it how we can call up power automate or ms flow to do any processing tasks based on that office add-in so right now i have opened one of my excel file and that sits into my sharepoint and over here you see i have this show timesheet button that is a custom office add-in for excel and once i click on it it allows me to submit my timesheet based on Excel. So think about a use case where you want to create some custom add-ins for your Excel, for your Power Presentation, and you wish to like do some processing uh, to call a Power Automate, to pass on the data, to connect it to the multiple other data sources. So you can very well do that. So over here, if I just put some entries related to my timesheet, and I will just simply submit hours and project name and once i do that submit timesheet i am expecting my my power automate to be called and that power automate is going to send an email to my manager that i have submitted my timesheet for this duration so if i open my mailbox i should see an email where i can see like brief about my timesheet so this sort of company customization you can do this with your custom office add-ins now how to create it so we have to start by creating one custom office add-in project and for that we are going to take help of visual studio code and it's very easy to create any project and it's very easy to write or any customization into javascript or typescript the like based on your comfort and if i go open my visual studio code where i have already written this project and this project is nothing but one office add-in project so we'll take a look on it how we can start so i will just open a new and i will open a folder in this folder i will select some existing folder or i can create a new one so i will just uh, create a new one sample one and i can select this folder so it will open my visual studio code with that folder context and now i want, want to scaffold the office add-in add project so I will open my terminal and in this terminal I will use office generator and that is like I will say like npm install if you I hope that you already running a node version on your machine so that's where like we will be using node package manager for installing our scaffoldings so I will use geo generator and this generator is for office and this will install my this u generator for office and then post that we'll say like u office that will start scaffolding our this office project office add-in project and then we will select our respective type of add-in which we want to create and with which framework so now i want to do a this scaffolding so i will say u office and it asks me which type of project i want to choose so it's office add-in task pane project excel powerpoint word task pane project office add-in in task pane project with using custom react framework share runtimes multiple ones so if i choose that office add-in in task pane project and i can choose javascript or typescript so i'll choose simply typescript and i will just name that as let's say sample timesheet add-in and now it gives me this client application I would like to support so the application I can choose from Excel OneNote Outlook PowerPoint project word so I'll choose Excel as we are building an add-in for our Excel so once this scaffolding is done so you will able to see the project sample one and that source we have this task pane and commands and we have this manifest XML so this is important one and for any functionality we are going to change this task pane HTML and task pane js so for example for my existing add-in in my task pane html i have this button and this text in place where like the submit timesheet would read out the excel cells and it will call my this js service that is task pane js and this task pane js would actually read out the cells values and then post that and it will make a HTTP call to my provided this Power Automate HTTP in incoming request link and that I'll show you how we can create it 
and once it's called like it will trigger the ms flow and that ms flow will do the processing of this timesheet so the same thing we can do so i can simply copy this task pane html logic into my this new one and the same thing i will do this with js so that i need not to write my logic of submitting task read or calling ms flow again so i'm just copying it so as i said like it's not is doing nothing but it will wait for my office to be loaded and once loaded it will call my it will show my button and on call of my button it will call ms it will trigger microsoft flow to do the rest of the processing by passing the arguments or the payload to it so i'm just saving it we are ready to be deployed to deploy this one so that we can see this in action so right now if i go to my manis manifest xml you will see like everywhere all the references are localhost and some of the references contoso dot help page so what you can do like wherever we want to host it we will replace our this localhost 3000 url or with our this uh, newly static site which we are going to create so where to host it because i want to show this task pane html as a content type of html and to be returned to be binded up with my office ID, so i have to host that as a uh, specific static web app into my azure so SharePoint hosting in SharePoint would not work because SharePoint, when we try to call our task in HTML, it will be returning us as HTML file, which is downloadable, but not as a content type of HTML. So that's why just remember to host it into Azure static site and it's free. So you need not to worry about any pricing for this. I will show you how, how you can do it. So I will open my this portal azure.com and over here, I will select static web apps. You can find it using this search resource tab as well so over here i have to this static uh, sites running so you can create a new one sample add-in and over here i will choose this for free and under this organization i will select my this git uh, which is tied up to my organization and i will select my repository so you can create a new repository so i have opened my git over here and I will be actually creating a new repository so that I can use that repository for publishing my this files. So I'll create a new repository and I will say a sample add-in and I will make that as private to be visible under my site only and create repository. And over here in the code, I will upload my code so you can say that upload existing file and you can go back to your code and over here we will just start building this solution so you can build using this run and npm run build and it's not built because the package is file is inside this subfolder i will reveal that reveal that and i will go inside and change my powershell directory to run my command from this so i will say cd and path and this time when i say npm run build so it will build but remember we haven't changed that local host as of now so if you want to test this you can just do a npm start it will run the local host for yourself and if you are willing to like publish it to any static site as we are doing then you can you have to replace it so what i am doing right now i will just go to my this upload file is is a random file uploading i'm doing right so that i can get my branch ready that is the main branch so it's random one just wait for it we haven't uploaded our actual code so right now this repository is created with the main branch now come back to your static site choose the repository sample add-in and because i have uploaded dummy file so it has created one branch also so once it's done i can say review and create so it will create it will give me a url for my this static site so i will wait for this resource to be provisioned and this is my site url i just copy this and we'll start using this into our code so coming back to our vs code now i can replace all these local host with our actual url so i want my all the locus local host till 3000 to be replaced with my static site and keeping everything as is for now so that's fine because 
this will read the asset or the icon from our asset folder from here so we are good we are okay with this no worries so i will just say replace so now it has replaced and if you wish to replace this the support and help url then also you can do it app domain you can specify app domain of the domain which you have specified over here till this so basically you can replace all the occurrences of this contoso name and you can also specify the group the tab group you can create a new tab group also if you wish to and once you are done then you can just save it and you can just simply again do a npm run build so it will create a dist folder and in this folder this folder you will find your all the files so i will reveal this dist folder and we will wait for our this dist folder to be updated so i am going to do one more thing which i am going to show you because this hosting is under azure web static site so i have to create one this copy of my this task pane html because azure static website it actually looks for index html so i'm just duplicating it i'm just doing not doing anything just duplicating so that we should not get any error while provisioning our this site so now i will copy this go back to our the folder the files and over here i will start uploading multiple files and this time these are the production ready files so i will just choose your file or you can just drag and drop all the files so i will open that folder do a drag and drop so we have created one dummy index html file remember that and that is just for we should not get any error into our this static website hosting so once these files are uploaded just commit all these files and then we will wait our actions or this task to be completed the provisioning task and once it's completed then we will try to hit the url for our this newly created site so that we can verify that our task pin html is opening or not so let's see right now is probably is showing the default index html but our it should be replaced with our html the test task pin or the index html which we have done so it's still trying to upload let's Let's wait for it. So if these files are added, now we can open our this URL that is Azure Static Website, and we got this because we have created as dummy index. So till now we are good with our hosting. We are able to do it. One more step which is left is you have to go to your tenant level app catalog if you wish to like provision it to everywhere. Then you can just need to go to upload document. choose file and the choose the the same file which you have published so i will just go and choose our sample one time sheet add in and over here this manifest file so once you choose that it will be available within your tenant and you can go back to your any of the document library so i will close this existing excel file i will create a new excel file and under this insert you would find you can search for addins if it doesn't show up by default and you can click on this addin and you are seeing the existing addins and you can go to advance and you can choose the addin from the app catalog which we just uploaded and you can say add so it will add one more addin so right now because the name was same so that's why you see it as same the addin name and if i click on it it opens this sample time sheet add in the page which we have hosted as an azure static website and it will do the same thing because we actually copied the same functionality of submitting time sheet getting the values from this cell and call one power automate so for the next step of calling power automate because we want to specify this in the task this js we actually specified that it should call one http uh, make one http call and that call would trigger our ms flow so how to create this endpoint for that endpoint i can open make.powerautomate.com and we will create one instant cloud flow 
or you can scroll through the end when HTTP request is received. So this will add one default trigger or if you select this trigger, so it will give you this first of all who can trigger this flow because it's an add-in we want everyone who can open the Excel file into our uh, this environment in company's environment they should be able to trigger it in HTTP URL so it will be generated later on and in the request body so because our code is passing the payload of this payload which is nothing but the employee name and the value from the second cell and the employee name again the value from the second cell of as date hours so this we are constructing so what you can do you can generate that from sample or you can have that schema to be generated by with sample so right now i have this schema generated already which is property employee name is a type of string but if you don't know how to generate this then you can paste the simply simple payload over here in the normal json structure and once you click on done it will generate the same schema for you so i am pasting the schema which is already generated so it will extract the employee name date hours and project from my incoming request and once that is done i will i can use that as part of my subsequent action processing so for the simplicity i am just using that as part of email in the email i will just add that email as of my manager or let's say like anybody like uh, based on your requirement i will say new time sheet demo and over here you can start populating the dynamic content and dynamic content came from this the request payload as in dynamic data and you can specify as submitted time sheet and you can specify the number of hours or the related project anything whatever you want to specify so this is just a demo but the intent is how you can quickly create any office add-in can integrate that with power automate and do the complex processing whatever you want so once i save it it will give me my trigger url and this http incoming request trigger url so that i will copy so i can go back to my this first trigger tab select it this url is already generated now and i can copy this url go back to my code i can just replace this with my newly incoming http call so the same way as we did in our initial demo that this ms flow will be triggered on submit action and once you submit it it will do the rest of the processing so this was a quick demo to give you intent that how you can create the custom add-ins that could be for excel for word or for ppt's as well and with that you can integrate your http request to do the complex processing part so i hope like uh, this you may found this useful and it could be you may try to use it in your organization and if you have any questions doubt then please do drop your comment i'll try to answer that is it for today thank you